Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 463. The title of today's lesson is The Difference Between Be My Guest and I Would Like You to Be My Guest. Okay, let's take a look at the board here. All right, if anyone wants a screenshot now, all right, let's get right into it. Now, most students get mixed up uh, with the verb phrase, be my guest, uh, which is a fixed phrase, so it can't be changed. Uh, with when someone is actually inviting someone to an event. So a lot of times when, when I was explaining this in class and I explain be my guest, people think that you're, you're actually telling someone to be their guest at their house. The be my guest as a verb phrase does not mean that. Usually the person is already there, so you're not inviting them anymore. Uh, it has another meaning, so let's continue here. Be my guest as a verb phrase is an imperative. Imperative is kind of like an order, like when you tell somebody, you know, just do it, eat it, buy it, you know. It's an imperative, it's kind of an order. So be my guest as a verb phrase is imperative, which gives someone permission, you know, to allow someone to do something, permission uh, to do something. It is often said after another person asks a question like, would you mind? if I do a particular thing. Would you mind if I do this, or would you mind if I do that? All right, let's continue. The response, be my guess, to such a question could mean help yourself, you know, uh, do as you wish, go ahead, go for it, please do, feel free to do as you wish. So, Sometimes it can be substituted with all of these. So you're, you're giving permission. You say, go ahead, just go do it. Sure, feel free to do it. You know, help yourself. All right, let's continue. The phrase, be my guest, could also be used in a sarcastic way to say that you are happy to let someone do something uh, unpleasant or difficult. So it could also be used that way. So it actually has an, an, an additional use here. All right, let's look at all these examples to explain this. So, uh, most of these examples at the beginning here are AV parts. So, let's look at the first one. Would you mind if I have a piece of cake? Yeah, so this is the typical one. You know, would you mind if I do something? And B says, be my guest. Have as much as you like. You know, go ahead. Um, as you like, please do. You know, uh, help yourself. All right. Uh, number two, would you mind if I turn on the TV? Uh, be my guest. It won't disturb me. It won't bother me. So, you know, just go ahead. Go do it. Mm -hmm. Number three here. Now, number three and number four is more like the sarcastic way. Um, so, A actually says, you are putting that together wrong. Would you like me to do it for you? And B, you know, maybe they are frustrated at this point. They said, be my guest. Uh, I could never figure out how to do this. So he's not really saying be my guest, like be a guest at something. He's saying, yeah, go ahead and do it. But, you know, uh, this isn't in, in a nice way. This is kind of, you know, just in a way like, I'm so frustrated. Thank you for, you know, doing this for me. And number four here, uh, we are in a hurry. Would you like me to change the baby's diaper for you? Now, this would definitely be something unpleasant. Uh, this would be a very nice person, maybe a brother or a sister or somebody. Uh, maybe they know how to change the diaper. Uh, be my guest. I appreciate that. Or be my guest. I changed enough diapers today. Yeah, go ahead. That would be a big help. Thanks. Uh, so it's also kind of a sarcastic way where you're not really saying help yourself. You're actually saying, yeah, go ahead. You could do it. But, you know, kind of like a thank you for doing it, too. All right. And then just to show you, of course, you know, now, it is possible if you really are inviting someone to a to something, to some event, you could say, I would like you to be my guest at my son's wedding. That is okay. We do invite people that way sometimes. Although, to be honest with you, it's more common we use some other phrases. It's more common we'd probably say, I'd like to invite you to, or would you like to go to, or would you like to attend you know, or I would like you to attend, or I would like you to go to. This would be even more common. Um, you know, this one, uh, I would like you to be a guest at my son's wedding. It's very formal, but you could say it. But a lot of students think that's what, that's what you mean, or that's what they mean when they say be my guest. No, 
So I've explained all the other uses as the verb phrase of to be my guest. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear now. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.